what is going on guys thank you for coming to my channel it's been a while since i've uploaded um, i've been super busy but i had a little bit of time today and i wanted to share this tip with you guys um, let me show you what i what i was working on i was working on um, some uh, animations this week for a client that i cannot you know talk about uh, but this was one of them of course i stripped down the um, the file so that it's not uh, it's just a simple shape uh, but it's for a transition so i came up with this uh across this thing in cinema that I don't think a lot of people know about. And let me show it right now. Uh, don't worry if your layout looks a little bit different than mine. Uh, this is because this is my custom layout that I use for animation. And I like to keep one of the views here where it's always uh, seeing through the camera that I'm animating to. So that, that way, if I need to make any changes, I can always look down to my right and see how that's gonna look, okay? Um, okay, so the feature is the uh, the feature is the uh, key mute. Uh, if you don't know where the key mute is, if you go to your timeline here and you go to your key, gotta select a, a feature here, select keyframes and then key mute. So basically, key mute um, it's just going to disable uh, your keyframe but not actually delete it. So let's say that we're seeing this animation, right? But um, I go like, okay, so right now, this is the, the C axis of the logo. Um, right now, it's going to this position and then pulling a little bit back and then coming back in. Um, I want to see how it looks with just like a hard stop and coming back, back in. I could always select the keyframe and delete, but if I end up doing more stuff um, to this and then I want to go back to that, then, you know, of course, you will have to undo a couple of times, a bunch of times. Uh, with key mute, you can actually just hit the key mute. This is the uh, the same key mute. It's just docked to my layout, and it's actually disabling that functionality. And now I can see how the logo looks. Let me turn this off because it's a little bit annoying. How the logo looks, uh, just like like a hard stop like this. Um, let's say that I want to uh, mute this one right here. Then of course it's not going to do that. But unmute this. And you can see that it's it's actually going to that keyframe and coming back. So um, to me, this is a, a super quick way to like iterate different moves or different um, options with your keyframes. Of course, this is not intended to you know do a whole different animation. And what I mean by that is that if I if I for example let's mute this one and unmute that one and let's try one where it's going even back f further back and then coming back in i can mute this keyframe that i had or originally and then just if i make a new one i'm gonna make a new one just by um click and drag uh, command drag this here command or or um control if you're on windows i can do a whole new animation as long as i don't uh set this keyframe in the same exact position I can actually keep these two keyframes while this one is being muted. So I can actually try another option really quickly without having to, uh, you know, uh, like duplicate the logo and, and adjust the keyframes or use the take system, which of course you can, that would be the, the safest choice. Cause if you forget that this is here, well, you know, it can, it can lead to problems, but for, quick little things like this, like for example, uh, this is not working for me. So, okay, that's not working. Let me go back to my original one and watch it again. That's a lot better. And and you can do this with pretty much um, the whole timeline, right? So if I mute this whole timeline and then I make um, a couple of new keyframes it's a little bit buggy, but um, I can try a whole different move without leaving the timeline. And as you can see, my, my old keyframes are still there. As long as I don't put the keyframe in the same exact position, which uh, in this case is it's fine because it's I'm just putting it like one frame after. Uh, let, let me do a really quick thing here, like. Let's uh, slow down the move, for example. Uh, da, 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 and do something crazy like that. Let's see. 
of course it's it's really crazy but but you get the point you get the idea and then okay i'm not really liking this um let me go back to my original but i want to keep this just uh keep that and unmute this so i hopefully you get the you get the point um again this is not intended to like do a whole bunch of uh, like a different animation like i would just recommend it to try like if you need to try uh, a different option on just one of the keyframes this is a really quick way to do that but always um you know that you know the, the best way to go is uh, just make a different take a new take and and animate it there all right thank you guys very much for watching please let me know if you have any questions and i'll catch you on the next one